there. Uh, I'm calling from the super disgusting Parasite Census Bureau and have a few quick questions for you. Do you have a few minutes? Well, I mean, I was just sitting down to dinner. Can it wait? Uh, it'll, it'll only take a few minutes. I promise it'll be quick. <sighs> okay, fine. What up? Um, okay, first, uh, I need to ask you about your taxonomic classification. Uh, what group do you fall under? I am a Cymothoa exigua. I am a tongue-eating louse, a member of the Order of Isopoda. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, next, um, what is your address, please? Well, see, we move around a lot. I, um, hmm. But, you know, most of the time we hang out around the California coast, mostly. Though I did take a trip to the United Kingdom back in 1995. I see. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, how did you get into your line of work? <laughs> well, I was male once. I was minding my own business at the back of the gills. I moved into when I was a juvenile. And then I went and turned into a female, crawled up to the tongue, and got a better seat at the dinner table. You know? I, uh, I suppose I don't. <laughs> Mo moving on. How would you describe your relationship with your host fish? <laughs> you mean my landlord, the Red Snapper. We have a great thing going. I have an oceanfront view. One thing, though, he doesn't talk much. Must be tongue-tied. <laughs> Uh, anyway. I don't hurt him. I just eat his mucus. And tongue blood. Right. Gross. Um, anyway. <laughs> How many others are living with you in this arrangement? Well, I'm the only one on the tongue. The tongue ain't big enough for two nasty big mama parasites, know what I mean? Once it shrinks away and dies, I'll have some more room up in this piece. Hmm. Yikes. Uh, so it sounds like you could have some kind of economic impact. Is this correct? No, no, not really. Well, I mean, you probably wouldn't want to buy a snapper in the market with a nasty bug hanging out of his mouth, but, you know, you chop his head off and whoosh, problem solved. Good point. Do you want to Skype? I could show you my place. Oh, no, no, definitely not, no. But, you know, there can be a couple of males around at any time. Two or three, maybe. Sometimes I mate with them. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting that. Uh, okay, well... Since the ice is broken, let's get right into it. You said you turned into a female? How exactly would you classify your sexual orientation? I am what you call a protandric hermaphrodite. All my bits did the old search through with old age, and I knew getting old would be weird, but... <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that one coming. I'd say I went through a sexual disorientation. <laughs> Hey, you know what? You sound like a nice guy. You want my sister's number? She lives in a clownfish down the shelf. Oh, no, no, no. That, that's all right. I'm married to my whelk. Okay, well, I think that's all I need for now. Uh, do you have any further comments for the record? Well, actually, yes, I do. But the only way for me to really express it is with a song about myself. Do you mind? Shrink a tongue, shrink a tongue, shrink a tongue. 
Shrink a tongue, 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 shrink